You can combine shapes in Illustrator in two different ways. And the way that I would distinguish which one to use is if one seems hard to use, use the other way. That's the best way I can explain it. What are the two ways? Well, one is the Shape Builder tool and one is the Pathfinder options. I'm going to press L, which is the shortcut key for this ellipse tool. And I'm going to create a couple circles out here in this purpley color. So here we go. I'm not even going to hold Shift, just creating a couple circles. And what we're going to do is make a little cloud. Okay, so once I've got these circles moved around, there are three individual shapes. You can see all these shapes right here. Now, it's really easy to use your Pathfinder options in the Properties panel. If you don't see the Properties panel, you can pull it open in Window, or you can even pull open Pathfinder in a window of itself. Now, to merge or combine shapes in Shape Modes, there's a selection here called Unite, which essentially unites all these shapes together. Also in Pathfinder, there's a Merge, and both these pretty much do the same thing. It combines all these shapes together. Really quick and easy way to merge shapes. Also quick and easy, and sometimes even more useful, is the Shape Builder tool. If we hold Shift M, that's the Shape Builder tool over here, you can see it just like that icon right there. Now the Shape Builder tool, as you can see, it sees the different parts of the overlapping segments of our shapes. One way we can use the Shape Builder tool is to literally click and drag through all these parts, and it's going to merge all of those parts together. Now another cool part of the Shape Builder tool is as quickly as we merge, we can actually cut out parts of our shapes. So if I drew a rectangle on the lower side of the cloud and I wanted the cloud to cut off in a line, I can go back to that Shape Builder tool, Shift M, and you see the plus icon? The default mode of the Shape Builder tool is to merge shapes together, but if we hold Option or Alt on PC, we can actually do the same action, click and drag while holding Option. You see the minus? It's going to remove those shapes. Now, over in the Pathfinder options, we can do the same thing with one of these modes, where we can subtract the shape on top from the shape on bottom. I tend to like to use the Shape Builder tool. In fact, it's probably my favorite Illustrator tool because it allows me to edit objects directly. The other thing with the Shape Builder tool versus the Pathfinder, if this was an instance where I wanted to cut out this middle section of this shape, the Shape Builder tool allows me to just hold Option and literally click on the part that I don't want anymore. Whereas the Pathfinder options, unless I know them really, really well, I tend to have to guess what's going to happen. Maybe this one here could exclude the center part, but if you have multiple objects in here and you literally want to click on different ones, it might not know which ones to exclude versus which ones to keep. So that's why I like the Shape Builder tool. This might have been a quick tutorial, but a very powerful one on how to work with shapes and combine shapes here in Adobe Illustrator.